What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dirty Red Gaming, where we take gaming and fashion and we mash it together like it's some Play-Doh. I'm Macho, aka Dirty Red, and this is my channel. So we got another sneaker review coming to y'all. We're gonna be taking a look at the Nike Hirachi and the Soul colorway. This is also the Safety Orange colorway. Very dope sneaker. So let's get into the video. But before we get into the details of it, um, these were released back in 2022. I'm not sure the date. There's really not that much information on them. But the Hirachi sneaker has been out since the 1990s. I think originally released in 1991. Um, lately, they've been going extinct. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the Hirachi shoe is a very popular shoe. If you grew up in the 90s, um, you've seen people with them. They're, they're known for the infamous tag on the back, the little pull thing on the back. But I mean, on a serious note, man, this is a very dope sneaker, very dope colorway. They call it the Hirachi Soul, S-E-W. I think I spelled that right, or Sue, it's Soul. But anyway, um, and they got these in the, the safety orange, white safety orange colorway. Uh, these retail you 135, this shoe is 135. I think Hirachi's run you like 130 or something like that. I uh, got this in a nine and a half. So we finna unbox it, we finna take it out of the box and we finna get into the video, I finna show y'all the shoe. So let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. What, man, 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 take a look at this. Let's grab the box, let's grab the box. Look at that, man, I have not seen these since I got them. Man, this is a nice shoe. Worn these once, got them in the nine and a half. Good thing about this, man, I got this for $45. I got these for $45 out of Hippie Sport. I think it was like Nike Day or something like that. Um, and I believe in being transparent with the prices because, man, a lot of the, the shoe people, they make it seem like it's impossible to get shoes and they the only ones who can get them, man. I really like transparency. I like when people who do this type of stuff right here, they honest about it. Man, I don't nobody care if you spend $500 for a pair of shoes, man. If you spend $20 for a pair of shoes, all we care about is the shoe. Is it worth it? Um, you got a lot of these... Anyway, but man, check this out, bro, man. Um, I would say the Hirachi runs you true to size. So these are a little, little on the big side for me. I got them in a nine and a half. Like I said, I think this was the only shoe that they had available and they were 45 bucks. I should've got two pair that day. Um, but I was trying to grab me a pair, trying to grab, um, I was gonna get my son a pair, but he didn't like it. But anyway, let's take a look at this, man. This is the Nike Hirachi and the Soul colorway that's the orange i was talking about right there still i mean still crispy still brand new i've only worn them once and man when i be revisiting these shoes that's the fun part about being in this type of uh, uh i don't say business but, but getting into this youtube thing is revisiting these shoes so let's go ahead and get into the shoe um you got a nice i don't even know what kind of i know this is like a little a nylon stretchable material but this right here it doesn't feel like leather it looks like it's kind of suede, but it's really like a hard material. Um, on camera, it may look suede, but it's really like a hard, I don't know, material. But you got your white right there, and then you got your kind of like a, uh, it's not gray, but it is white too. It's just because it's the material looks a little different, and then you got your white here, then you got your pull. This is what the, the Hirachi is known for. That's the little tag, or the pull tab in the back. That's in like a, 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 I ain't gonna say like a powder, babyish blue. Um, then you got your blue here, orange. Then you got like a yellow, like a mustard yellow with the bubble gum shoe bottom. Um, like I said, I've only worn them once. But man, this is a crazy colorway. Um, what Nike has done is, if you've received, if you bought any new Hirachis, they've kind of done it to kind of fit this uh, futuristic style, that's what they want to call it. Because this shoe is so old, man. Uh, this shoe's been out since the 90s, and we're talking this 2023, but you see the uh, the tag with the Nike Air. I think that's real dope right there. Check out the laces with the white and the purple. I don't know if you can see that purple right there. But you got the white and purple laces, and this is just a couple. I would say, outside of the Presto, 
the Harachi, they give you a run for your money. These are probably what, these are the Yeezys of Nike. These are the most comfortable um, shoe you can get from Nike. It's the Harachi and the Presto. They're both kind of like slide on shoes. That's why I say they kind of put you in the mind of the Yeezy. So if you're looking for an alternate for a Yeezy shoe, um, grab you some Harachis. Grab you some Harachis. These retail at 130, 135. I grabbed them for 45 bucks. If you ever see them for 45 bucks, get them, get two pair. Um, I will recommend this. But man, yeah, I got this in a nine and a half. And let's see if it's any difference from this shoe and the other shoe. I don't really see a difference. On this channel, I like to do a cop or not on this. And like I just said, man, if you're looking for an alternate shoe for the Yeezys, definitely get you a pair of Rochers. Get you a pair of Rochers. Nothing's different. You got your Nike here, you got your Air right there. Just nothing but comfort. Um, when I read up about the Harachis in 2023, they have um, redid your shoe for comfort. Um, better cushioning than what it was in the 90s. Um, just better everything, better material. But this was the shoe back in the day. This was the shoe back in the day. This Arachi was the shoe. This was the shoe to get. I like that mustard um, look on it. Um, so let's go ahead and get this a grade. Get these a grade and throw them on our feet and see how they fit. Uh, what I would grade this is probably like an eight. Um, eight and a half. Comfort wise, these are a 10. These are a 10, but um, the color is so hard to, <laughs> it's hard to um, find something to wear with these. So that's why I kind of give it like a little low grade. I wouldn't even say eight, eight and a half. That's not a low grade. Um, cop or not though, definitely cop these. If you could grab, if you could find your pair of some Harachis, which right now, Harachis seem like they've gone his, uh, instinct. <laughs> they've gone away. Um, no one's really wearing them, man. No one's really wearing, um, Harachis, and the word I look for was instinct, or like dinosaurs or whatever. But anyway, um, nobody's really wearing Harachis, man. Um, it just seemed like Nike stopped making them for a while, and then they tried to come back out with them, and then they come out with these colors. That's why they're so affordable. Um, I think you can grab these for like 85, 90 bucks, but I paid 45 dollars for them, so. I would definitely recommend it. I would definitely recommend you copping any of these. Like I said, these were the Yeezys back in the day uh, for Nike. Like I said, the Presto and Harachi, maximum comfort, extremely comfort, great shoe to run in. Uh, I actually got some shoes I play softball in and there's some Prestos. So, um, so let's get into the on feet and I'm out.